Uh, the name of the new record is called How I Go. And uh, the reason why we named that is generally uh, in the past I would look to song titles for the title of the album, but we decided to do something a little different this time. And we went within the songs and looked to the lyrics of the songs to try and find uh, a phrase uh, that we thought was appropriate. So. I analyzed every lyric to every song on the record and I actually found out that the words that's how I go appear in two different songs and we didn't even realize it when we wrote the song so you know I thought it was cool that it appears twice and I think it's a good statement because uh, it's just another way of saying this is how we do things. Uh, the first song on the record is called Never Looking Back and uh, you know I think it's a great uh, first song for the record it really um, I think it kind of hits you uh, from the first note it has a real big intro has a little bit of uh, Rolling Stones vibe mixed with a little ZZ Top and a little Stevie Ray Vaughan and uh, the rhythm part and the groove itself is not something that we've ever recorded before it's kind of like a Chuck Berry rock and roll thing um, so, you know, on this record we wanted to touch on some things that we hadn't necessarily done on previous records. Um, the theme of that song really is just kind of all about moving on in life and, you know, not looking back on the past and dwelling on uh, the negative things in life, but actually looking forward to the future and uh, all the positive things that are to come. Uh, the, second, uh, the second song on the album is called Come On Over. Uh, that song right now is probably my favorite track on the record. Uh, it's one of those songs that really, in my opinion, it has a truly unique sound. You can't really compare that song to anybody else and say, oh, that song sounds just like so-and-so. I mean, the song is truly unique in itself, and the lyrics, I think, is very well written. Uh, and basically, it's, again, it's, um, you know, it's a guy that's kind of having a hard time coping with certain things and aspects of his life and he's reaching out to a friend and the friend is on the other end of the phone saying, hey, just come on over. We, you can sit on the road and cry about it all night long or you can come on over here and we can do something about it. Your Blues is obviously uh, a Beatles song from the White Album and uh, I, from from what I gather, it's the only uh, Beatles song that they wrote that was really more or less supposed to be a traditional blues song. So uh, it, it was pretty interesting. I'd heard the song before, uh, but about five or six years ago, I was driving down the road uh, in Malibu up the Pacific Coast Highway, and I was listening to the radio station uh, locally here that does a show called Breakfast with the Beatles on Sundays. And they were playing all Beatles music, and I heard they played that song, and it just really caught my attention this time in a different way than before. And I could really hear my band doing, I could hear what my band would sound like doing that song. And uh, I knew that we could do a great version of it. So I just kind of filed that away, you know, made a note and filed it away in my memory. And when we were halfway through recording this record, I remembered, oh, we got to try your blues, man. And we went out and we cut it and it was all done live with the exception of just a couple of overdubs. And uh, I think it's a, it's a pretty great track for this record. Um, Show Me the Way Back Home is, is a nice ballad. Uh, it's one of the more, um, you know, uh, tender moments, if you will, on the album. It's, uh, I mean, I'm always, I, I love a good ballad. And uh, this song is, is really, a, you know, one of those uh, songs about somebody um, who's kind of down and out and uh, another person reaching out to them and, and uh, consoling them and, and trying to give them some advice and, and some faith and some hope. And uh, it's, it's a great song. It's got some really interesting keyboard parts to it. Uh, it. The vocal, I think that Noah delivered a killer vocal on that song. And uh, I know that it's a lot of people's favorite song on the record right now. I'm getting a lot of emails with people uh, asking us to play that song in the set. And she reached out like it was treasure. She looked so far away. 